Hey, what's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, Oist Jan. I hope you lot are all doing well today, this afternoon, this evening. Whenever you're watching this video, I hope you're doing all right. Welcome to today's video, which is a Chelsea transfer news video, where I'm going to be talking about two players that have been linked with Chelsea this last kind of 24, 48 hours. One being Porto's left back Alex Tellez, who's long been spoken about by football fans around the Premier League, who all would basically urge their clubs to sign this player. Very, very offensive left back. He's actually got some good defensive numbers as well. Has refused to sign a contract yet again with his club as he's looking for a new challenge. And this could be an incredibly good opportunity for Chelsea Football Club where left back is a massive problem position for them. I also want to talk about Jonathan David, the Canadian playing in Belgium. Attacking midfielder, second striker, force nine, slash number nine player. Does look like there could be a player in there in terms of value and goals, which is very important at the moment, and they come at a premium for Chelsea Football Club. So this is the kind of potential acquisition that could be a really sensible purchase, and I'm going to tell you guys why. Before I crack open all this good gear and spill the beans on the stats, metrics, and news to you lot, I want to urge you guys to subscribe to Football Therapy. If you've not yet already subbed, please do subscribe. Hit that bell notification icon as that is important. Why not like the video to help your boy out and follow me on the Instagram. All right then, let's get into it. Right, Alex Tellers, man. 27, going on 28. I'm going to read you the stats and the metrics. Um, let me read you a news story first. So I'm going to cite an article here from We Ain't Got No History regarding Alex Tellers. The left back position will be primary focus for Chelsea in the summer transfer window with two, question mark, new reinforcements almost certain to arrive. Two reinforcements, that's interesting. I guess... If both Alonso and Emerson go, then two. Seems like a lot though. Ah, it goes on to say both Marcus Alonso and Emerson have failed to impress. Although Alonso has continued to perform quite well in the wing back role, with Ben Chilwell long touted as the front runner to take over the starting spot. However, due to this extortionate price of 80 million, it's logical to assume the club will be exploring alternatives. Ben Chilwell has been really poor these last few months. He genuinely has. He's been a poor vein of form. 80 million pounds, we've got Marcus Alonso out here scoring three goals in two games while Ben Chilwell stinks the gaff up. I'm kind of over the Chilwell links now, personally. One name that's frequented the Chelsea rumour mill for quite a few years now is Alex Tellez, with Chelsea making at least one approach back in 2014. Wow, six years ago, that's incredible, really. And he's unsurprisingly popped up as one of those potential alternatives once again this weekend. According to A. Bola, Tellez has rejected a new contract from Porto, and not for the first time as he seeks a new challenge in a new different league, brackets, or specifically the Premier League, if we go by what the report says. Makes sense, you're 27 about to sort of go to 28, your last big contract, for, you know, sign a five year deal. This is really what your agent's telling you. He's like, dude, now's the time. You make the move, you're making the money, you're winning the trophies. Don't know if his um, agent's have got a peculiar Italian accent. Essentially, this article goes on to talk about how he scores loads of goals, gets a bunch of assists. I think he takes penalties as well for Porto. And my buddy Newman, great YouTuber on Twitter, tweeted this. According to Marker, Alex Tellis's release clause is 40 million euros. He has refused to sign a new deal, but most importantly, FC Porto are facing FFP, brackets, financial fair play problems, and they need to sell players to generate cash. <gasps> Juventus are preparing a 25 million euro bid. What are Chelsea doing? Interesting, if they do need the cash, Chelsea will hopefully smell a blood there and perhaps start negotiating with the Iron Lady, Marina Granovskaya, hopefully looking to get Chelsea a really good deal because presumably the player would be interested in the move. So that's that sorted. I'm sure Chelsea could offer him agreeable terms. Getting the deal over the line is something different. So 25 million euros, what's that, 20 million pounds? Maybe just less? 80 million pound Ben Chilwell. I know who I'm going for. So let's give you the numbers from this season. He's made 18 league appearances and got 8 goals and 5 assists. 13 <laughs> league goal involvements in 18 appearances. Takes 1.3 shots per game. Very healthy for a left back. Makes 2 key passes per game, so he is a creative player. Very good offensive numbers indeed, but we have Marcus Alonso, I hear you say. 
he can do offensive numbers, what's happening at the other end of the pitch? Well, defensively, he's very good as well. He makes 2.6 tackles and interceptions per game, 1.2 clearances per game as well, which to be honest, is almost like center back numbers. It's very good. He's very good at defending the flank. Um, and to be honest, man, you know, uh, Bruno Fernandes came from Liga Nosh, did very, very well. Alex Tellez looks like a very consistent, offensive player, can defend well. You know, even if you have to, like, don't pay the 40 million release clause, if you get him for 30 million euros, they're still under 30 million pounds. That could be a very smart purchase indeed, as long as he plays at the highest level for at least a couple of seasons. For my money, it seems like a superb deal, and Chelsea can you know, reevaluate their finances in the summer and put more money into goals, essentially. Do you know what I mean? And speaking of goals, let's move on to the next linked player. Jonathan David, the Canadian born in Brooklyn, playing out in Belgium. At the ages of 20 years old, this player is catching a lot of people's eyes. Transfer marked has valued him just under 20 million pounds, but you know when a club, a Premier League club comes calling, it's probably gonna go up to something like 30 million pounds. I'll put the graphic on the screen of his transfer marks profile, but it's all very positive. Of course, the level he's playing at is nowhere near as competitive as the Premier League, but when a player is this young, scoring a lot, it's very promising indeed. In just 25 games, he's 18 goals, and eight assists. Yes, indeed, 26 goal involvements in just 25 appearances. You do the math. I know it's not a very competitive level, but the man is used to scoring and assisting goals. It is in his DNA. Rather interestingly, he's not dedicated number nine, and you would think Chelsea are either trying to get a dedicated number nine or someone that can play on the flanks. By all accounts, he does not play wide, neither left or right. He plays in the number 10 role, the false nine role, second striker role, or striker role. A straight arrow down the middle of that pitch. Which is interesting because you'd think if Chelsea are looking to buy this player, they'd probably be looking to buy him as a striker, someone to play in and around the number nine area, especially now they've bought Hakim Ziyech, who can play number 10 very, very well. Um, you'd think, right, well, that's the number 10 sort where they've got you know, youngsters coming through, Gallagher, Andurin, they've got Mount, who you still would back to develop as a player. Hakim Ziyech, these good number 10s now, as well as wingers. Christian Pulisic can probably even occupy the whole number 10. He's done that before a few times. So really, they just need to reinforce the wide spaces, get goals from there, and the striker. So if Chelsea are looking at this player, and they are going to make a bid, they'd probably speak to the player first and be like, look man, do you want to be a striker? Come to Chelsea. To be honest, for him to be putting away those numbers and say the number 10 role, it's pretty incredible. Um, I think a lot of clubs are interested in this player and will come in for him. And obviously Chelsea would look at this kind of player profile and see a great deal of risk uh, bringing him to the Premier League. And <laughs> not many players come from the Belgium League to the Premier League. I mean, I think, did Lukaku, he must have come, that, that must have been a good example. Still, it's not that common. But he's young, and if he's cheap, but then maybe there's value in it. Chelsea will probably see him as probably a good loan option if it doesn't work out, even with the new loan rules coming in. Anyway, what do you guys think? I'm really keen to get everyone's opinion on Alex Tellers, because interestingly, the fan base often is split on this player. Like the article I cited said, he's been linked with Chelsea for a long, long time now. He seems to be a consistent player and doing well and he seems to want the move not necessarily specifically to Chelsea but to a Premier League club what do you think if there's really good value there or it's rather if he's quite cheap are you backing him is there any people that still prefer Ben Chilwell even if he's at a lot of money even though he's in poor form at the moment people might see past that and look at him as an investment and see his profile fit the team better let me know get down in the comment section below express your thoughts and opinions on Alex Tellers. Jonathan David as well, let me know about the striker slash second striker slash false nine slash number 10 player. The Canadian, what do you think of him? Do you see value in looking at this player? Has anyone ever seen him play? That kind of thing. Get down in the comment section below, let me know your thoughts on him too. If you have enjoyed this content today, ladies and gentlemen, why not like the video, show your support to football therapy, and why not subscribe if you haven't yet done so, and hang out with me every single day on the channel, talking about Chelsea at Football Club, but why not follow me on social media, at Football Yannick, on both Instagram and Twitter. That's it from me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm out, enjoy the football, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk Outline my lines, I rap through thought Body bag the verse, outline the chuck 
trouble In my life seen trouble Hustle on the double Silence on the trigger Like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle Bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper Sorry I don't I let me baby 